The budget is one way to be disciplined with our money. Another way is envelopes, good old fashioned envelopes. They help us in areas where we are more prone to impulse buy. Now think about impulse buys, groceries, going out to eat, maybe entertainment. If you carry cash in your envelope and you hit the 20th of the month and the envelope's empty, well guess what? No more buying. You're hitting the pantry, the freezer, you're eating leftovers. And I know this may sound extreme, but give it a shot for 90 days and see if your behavior doesn't change. Everyone that I've taught or coached that implemented the envelope system loved it and reported that they had more money at the end of the month. And you'll have a challenge. You'll be grocery shopping, you know, and then you'll be out there, a certain amount left in the envelope, and the cashier is going to hit total. Well, guess what? You've got to put some stuff back because you're limited to the amount of money in the grocery envelope. That's how you win. So you might decide what envelopes you want to use. They should be, again, impulse areas, eating out, groceries, entertainment. We've mentioned that. They'll vary from person to person or family to family. I had one coaching client who had an envelope for sewing because she loved to sew. Some of you still may not be sold on it or get the whole envelope thing. And you know what? McDonald's hopes you never do figure out the envelope thing. You think those credit card machines are there in front of the counter for you and your convenience? No. As reported by Dunn and Bradstreet, McDonald's knows that you're going to spend 12 to 18 percent more every time you swipe. The average meal ticket when they were first implemented in McDonald's went from $4.75 to seven bucks. That's a 45 percent increase in ticket sales or might you say a 45 percent increase in more revenue out of your pockets. They increase the sales and you get to go finance a hamburger or overspend. Well, here's what happened. We were enticed to change our behavior that time in a negative manner. We're talking about positive behavior changes. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon also found that you, when you pay with plastic, they hook brain sensors up to our brains. There is no pain whatsoever. However, if you go take this stuff and you have to hand this off, they recognize using cash as a painful way to purchase, thus causing the all-important behavior modification making the envelopes an important element to sticking with your budget.